She started off rich and famous in the city of angels. But if you're addicted to love, you're probably wondering where Meg Ryan disappeared to these days. How did Meg reshape what family looks like? Did that ever include Tom Hanks? The answers fly in the face of what most people think they know about the rom-com queen. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, with all these details and more, including what she did for her most hardcore role and how she's involved in one of the most infamous interviews in TV history. <laughs> Just how does all this tie into her departure from Hollywood? Let's go find out. If you enjoy this deep dive, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. Subscribe to the channel so you always catch our next deep dive. But now, without further ado, here's how Harry met Sally. I'll have what she's having. Why was Meg Ryan not in Top Gun 2? Well, then you want to talk about something else? They can't all be winners, not even for the illustrious Meg Ryan. She had a solid enough start with an acting debut in As the World Turns. And not many years after, she found herself working alongside Tom Cruise in Top Gun. Despite mixed reviews upon its release, Top Gun wowed audiences with solid visuals and a killer soundtrack. From there, its momentum just kept building. Jump to 2022 and the sequel, Top Gun Maverick, exploded into theaters. And people's hearts, smashing box office records and soaring to new viewership heights. But in the original, Meg's Carol brought a lot of emotional levity and weight, and it even planted the seeds for plot points in the sequel. Yet, very absent from the second installment was Meg Ryan. So why? Director Joseph Kaczynski didn't want to bring her back. He worried about having too many storylines, as he puts it, looking backwards. While Carol wasn't destined to return from the start, Turning down huge roles is almost unbelievably kinda a staple of Meg Ryan's career. Get this, she was offered the lead role in Ghost, which ultimately went to Demi Moore. Seriously, Pulp Fiction, Pretty Woman, she almost had Nicole Kidman's spot in To Die For. She was even offered the role of Shelby in Steel Magnolias and Jodie Foster's role in Silence of the Lambs. Though whenever she stumbled, some people just couldn't let her live it down. What happened with Michael Parkinson and Meg Ryan? You've got a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it seems that one that's not going to be resolved on this show. Yeah. <laughs> the year was 2003, and Meg Ryan sat down for an interview with British chat show host Michael Parkinson. The goal was to promote her divisive erotic thriller in the cut but the host and guest ended up landing some deep cuts of their own. Ryan gave short, sometimes one-word answers, and Parkinson made statements Ryan thought were very judgmental. Eventually, Meg just outright said, Well, just wrap it up. <laughs> Three years later, Ryan opened up about feeling hurt and attacked during that sit-down. I felt he was berating me for being naked in the movie. He said something like, you should go back to doing what you were doing. I thought, are you like a disapproving dad? Back off, buddy. I was so offended. Parkinson had been called a quote, sexist old fart by the great Helen Mirren during a 1975 interview. Regarding the Meg Ryan situation, he was apologetic years later. He said, quote, I was quite obviously angry with her and it's not my business to be angry towards the guests. I came across as kind of pompous. Who is Meg Ryan's current husband? Being the reigning queen of rom-com means Ryan has had her share of on-screen suitors. Just three times by Tom Hanks alone. Can you count them all? Yep, Sleepless in Seattle, You've Got Mail, and starting it all, Joe vs. the Volcano. And in real life, she had a pretty eventful romance too dating back to when she was named cutest girl in school, elected class secretary, and crowned homecoming queen. Any fans of Savage Garden here? Well, band composer Daniel Jones had a huge crush on Ryan and composed All Around Me based on those feelings. I want your arms, all around me. Like many people, Meg found life partners through work first moving in with Anthony Edwards after Top Gun. 
then matching with Dennis Quaid during the filming of Inner Space. She met both when they were playing military flyers. Is it a coincidence? I think not. For a bit, life with Dennis Quaid was a fairy tale, and the couple welcomed a son, Jack Quaid, in 1992. And for all you fans of comic books and violence, check out The Boys on Amazon. It stars Jack Quaid, and he is so freaking good. But with parents like that, is that a surprise? Well, in 2001, Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid split up, and she never married again. Though sparks flew with Russell Crowe, and there was a near thing with John Mellencamp. But a little after their split, accusations of cheating on both sides flew. The press said the split was because of Ryan's infidelity. While Meg said, quote, Dennis was not faithful to me for a long time, and that was very painful. I found out more about that once I was divorced. The whole mess was enough to plant a desire to just get away from it all. A desire that Meg Ryan would pursue years later. Did Meg Ryan have a baby? Meg Ryan has been very content with being a single mom. The only thing that was missing was one more child to love and raise. So in 2006, she adopted a two-year-old daughter from China. And the process involved a lottery system that assigned the girl who Ryan named Daisy True to her. Meg insists there was nothing random about these two souls finding each other, and believes her giving birth to Jack could be called a lottery while you're at it. The whole thing was an emotional roller coaster, with Meg summing it up saying, quote, I have never laughed harder or cried more. I was so nervous about the whole thing. Thankfully, everyone fits together perfectly, and we're all able to find home, love, and family together. It's also made Ryan a huge advocate for adoption, with her urging others saying, quote, She is the daughter I should have. I just really wanted a baby. I was on a mission to connect with somebody, and Daisy and I got to meet each other this way at this time. There's no difference in the love you feel, while comparing that to biological children. And this reminds me of something Sandra Bullock said in a video we just posted. So if you're a Sandra fan, check that one out next. Why did Meg Ryan retire from acting? Meg is careful to walk a tightrope, showing off her kids on social media, but also wanting them to have a good head on their shoulders. Especially her younger daughter, since Jack has already been through the whole famous parent thing, and is now just a famous guy himself. I'm a guy who works in an electronics store. Right. Which, uh, yeah! <laughs> But if you take a look at her Instagram, you can see she is one very proud mama and adores parenthood. In fact, she's ready for parenthood to define her life. Because these days, she's mostly out of the spotlight. And by 2019, she said she was done with the whole Hollywood fanfare. It left her emotionally drained, saying, quote, I was burned out. I didn't feel like I knew enough anymore about myself or the world to reflect it as an actor. She added, quote, I get offers to do things now, but they're not things I want to do. Part of that is because Meg was driven to acting in the first place by pure happenstance. It was just a way to raise money while she studied, and it just so happened to be fascinating to her. And that spark, it just isn't there anymore. She has been at it for quite a long time, and even said as much when she further reflected, quote, What I'm ambitious for in the 12 hours a day that I'm awake is my kids' happiness. I just am. Fortunately for fans, she's found a bit of balance to keep everyone happy. What is Meg Ryan doing now? So we pretty much said goodbye to Ryan after 2015's Ithaca. But in 2023, she's gracing the big screen once again. This time, yes, in another rom-com. Now with David Duchovny called What Happens Later. Ryan first teased the project in a May 2022 Instagram post, showing some blurry figures dancing in the snow. And she cryptically wrote, here we go. The film is about former lovers who reunite unexpectedly when they both get stuck in an airport overnight. Past and present bleed together the more time they spend together, but something isn't quite right when they try and figure out what happened between them. 
And get this, Meg is also tapped to direct an adaptation of the novel A Lady's Guide to Selling Out by Sally Franson. Meg Ryan sure has had plenty of ups and downs and missed opportunities most people would flip out for. But against those odds, Meg left her mark on the industry and it's one that remains timeless. But I for one am sure ready to welcome her right back. Alright that's enough of me, now we need to hear from you. Which is your favorite Hanks Ryan team up? Are you looking forward to seeing her back on the silver screen? What is your all time favorite Meg Ryan flick? And who's another great actress that we should cover next? Get in the comments and tell us your thoughts because we read them all. If you enjoyed our Meg deep dive, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss a beat. And from all of us here at Do You Remember, I want to thank you very much for watching.